Red Dog from 2016 is a Russian-made war drama based on the true events of trained dogs used on the World War II frontline to stop and destroy enemy German tanks. The K-9 assault team would have explosive devices strapped to them and sent running then in on under the approaching tanks to be exploded by remote detonation by the human handler. An unsettling but true suicide mission and indeed an extreme defensive retaliation in the bleak reality of wartime. The movie begins in the modern day with an old gentleman coming to the aid of a hungry dog looking for food scraps at an open air restaurant. A couple of ignorant thug men set upon the dog, but the caring man steps in with evident self-defence trained abilities and brings the men to heel. With their support, the other customers embarrass the thugs into scampering off. The old gentleman clearly has a care and compassion for animal welfare and the restaurant customers are soon even more drawn to his honourable character as he relays a story about another dog from his past. So unfolds the story for Red Dog as the man tells the tale of a young pup named Prince raised by his father and how during the height of World War II in Siberia his airborne military serving father is crippled in action, his right foot rendered irreparable. His military service days seemingly over, he returns to Moscow by way of a hospital train with the now adult grown prince at his side. The dog is almost thrown out of the train though with threats of being shot by the soldier guards, stating that an, any animal aboard is a hygiene concern and issue. The kindly nurses convincing the men though that the dog is good for patient morale and can keep all aboard the train entertained during the trip long as it is to Moscow. Red Dog plays out then as a drama telling of the strong bond between a good man and a smart and loyal dog. The best of friends during the worst of times. An important and relevant tale to be relayed from a period in our world history that must be told to generations to come as an imperative reminder of the true and pointless horrors of war. Directors Alexander Baziev and William de Vital are to be plauded for their efforts in this regard and indeed for putting such a large scale project together on an evidently very modest budget of about two million dollars. The financial productivity seemingly bolstered by American investment to this otherwise Russian movie production. Co-director Willem de Vital moved to America to further enhance his growing reputation and career as a well-regarded stuntman, stunt coordinator and movie making talent back in 1998. So it's likely that he was able to attract American interest in his joint project to bring red dog together as a movie from his American connections. A real labour of love and hard to knock such a purposeful project but the film as a whole just does not work as a big screen experience. Confusingly Red Dog is also known as Dog Brown and the whole experience just feels so staged in both look and feel. Credit is deservedly due though very much for the use of original World War II design vehicles and the period piece costumery. The several occasions where the story jumps back to the old gentleman though telling the tale is annoyingly like being taken out of the experience somewhat akin to watching a movie on TV interjected by annoying adverts. The theme of the bond between the crippled soldier being given the opportunity to return to service as a military dog handler with his loyal canine prince is rewarding and perhaps not unsurprisingly ultimately highly emotional. But as a film Red Dog would truly have been better realised as a television drama with greater depth to unravel its story 
and likely find a far greater appreciative audience as it is certainly for this viewing experience. Red Dog is an overly laborious drama undertaking the daytime throwback slow-paced delivery of a crossover episode special of 70s daytime dramas from yesteryear, The Waltons and The Sullivans. The drama indeed would unravel so much better delivered under the construct of such shows made well for a wider television audience. As it is though with Red Dog the movie a 4 out of 10 scorecard is in respectful recognition as to the importance of the subject matter and the all-round well-intentioned efforts applied to the project on such a restricted budget. Sadly though the biggest battle for a lot of people here will be getting through to the end of the movie itself. The educational importance of Red Dog though without question cannot be overlooked. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.